Hello there. I hope you're all doing very well. I'm personally doing fantastically well. Here's the thing, I usually try really hard not to gloat about shit, because it's usually a pretty uncool thing to do, but to hell with being uncool when you can just lean back and watch someone else's worldview catch on fire and roll screaming and hollering down a hill. Maybe some assholes over there want to talk to you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so check this out. The Sweden Democrats are apparently getting a new influx of supporters. And who might these supporters be? Which untapped vein of race-hating Islamophobes have they recruited now? Well, it turns out that it's immigrants. <laughs> oh my god, it's just beautiful. Immigrants in Sweden are voting to keep more immigrants from coming here. According to SCB Statistic Sweden, one in ten Sweden Democrat supporters is now of foreign descent. It's been for long known that the Sweden Democrats have, for example, Jewish supporters since the party today is one of the most pro-Israel parties in our parliament. And some of its members even want to revoke Sweden's recognition of the state of Palestine due to the motion not even have had a parliament majority. So despite these claims, uh, sometimes true claims, of existing anti-Semitism within the Sweden Democratic Party, Jews still grow in numbers as Sweden Democrat supporters. The increase in voters from minority groups actually makes perfect sense, in my view. Jews, Kurds, Syrian Christians, for instance, all faced a very real risk of having to live next door with the people who historically and very recently tried to root them out from the countries they came from. I've heard just about everything about these Sweden Democrat voting immigrants. They're being greedy racists who wants to rob other foreigners of a chance of a better life, or they're victims and should some way be protected against further harassment in Sweden. But our liberals can't really make up their minds, and they still remain clueless. Defend the minorities within the minority group, or remain politically correct and keep on not giving a shit about a group of foreigners who committed genocide upon another group and are now being squished together in the same neighborhoods. Decisions, decisions. Also, on a side note, if you're a homosexual, you can't be an Islamophobe. It's a bullshit term to begin with, and it's completely pointless if you're a homosexual. It's not an irrational non-logical fear you're having. It's a very real fear of getting thrown off a wall and getting your neck snapped. It's a fear of getting killed just because you enjoy some of that sweet man-ass. That's one of the liberties you have in the West. It's possible for you here to be gay. The fear of having that right taken away from you isn't irrational. I hate that shit. You hear it a lot. Islamophobia. It's a stupid term to begin with and it's even more retarded when you're talking about homosexuals. Or women. But it seems in my view that the politically correct lip biting has only resulted in, for instance, Jews in our bigger cities reportedly not feeling safe if they're being open with their racial or religious heritage. And as we now can see, an increase in immigrant voters are now voting against foreigners coming to Sweden. They're voting against having to fear, for instance, a Muslim majority in their own neighborhoods. All that I can say about immigrants voting for the Sweden Democrats is keep it up. Our immigration policies have proven to allow all sorts of assholes to slip through the cracks and it's going to hurt the immigrants who are already living here way before it hurts any upper middle class liberals who only consider foreigners to be a spicy little exotic attribute to Swedish culture. I recently read a really awesome book named Please Stop Helping Us, How Liberals Make It Harder for Blacks to Succeed. I recommend you read it. I also recommend all the Black Lives Matter idiots to read it. It's written by a journalist named Jason L. Riley, and it's about how liberal policies have historically and presently been hurting black people in the U.S. My beef with the black left is that they want to keep the focus on what government or Washington or politicians or whites in general can do for blacks or should be doing for blacks instead of what blacks can do for themselves. In the book, there is an entire chapter about crime and punishment regarding black criminals. The interesting part about this specific chapter is how the author is hammering white liberals for morally policing the decisions of black community leaders who are calling for tough on crime policies regarding dope dealers in their neighborhoods, all while these white liberals want to go easy on them. The result has been more dangerous black neighborhoods, a rise of poverty, increased teen pregnancies, and so poor school results that only a fraction of black students actually graduate. White liberals and black academics hugging gangsters in practice fucked black communities for years to come. All while black community leaders on the ground who actually saw the harm being done kept screaming for sterner policies regarding black on black crime. But hell, you know, what do they know, right? Well, this shit is currently being pulled in Sweden as well. 
Sheltered white university professors and social justice warriors defend crystal clear cases of hate crimes being done by immigrants against other immigrants while bashing immigrants on the political right who point out obvious facts and who actually know what the hell they're talking about. But for some mysterious reason, white liberals always know what is the best for minority groups, as shown through their clear disgust of immigrants who think independent thoughts. You want to see a liberal turn racist within just a matter of seconds? Out yourself as an immigrant conservative and then watch the liberals all around you start twitching their eyes and sweat profusely. The sheer amount of victimizing and condescension being smeared upon immigrants by liberals is beyond disgusting and I'd wish they'd stop and respect the independent thoughts and wishes of minorities even when they're voting in favor of keeping Muslims out of Sweden or just immigrants in general. If you've never been as a kid running over a minefield with your grandmother while being shelled with mortar fire, you have nothing to say if the people who have vote to keep the fuckers who try to slaughter them outside of Sweden. So shut up and drink your mocha latte, you inclusive hippie asshole. Look, I've never been against letting people into Sweden who truly are being hunted like prey in their own countries, but I'm definitely against taking in racist assholes who want a free apartment and end up harassing racial and religious minorities. They can and should fuck off. So anyway, this is why I'm gloating a bit here. Every time a Swedish liberal gets so upset that they break out in an inflamed diaper rash over their crushed romantic worldview, I just want to rub my nipples and pour myself a glass of whiskey. I know I might be a bit of a sadist, but whatever. Cheers. We do have a problem. We have a problem when the failures of Islam throughout the world, the failures of all Islamic societies come here into Britain. Their intolerance of freedom of conscience, their intolerance of apostates, their intolerance of freedom of expression and freedom uh, of speech, their intolerance of minorities, other religious minorities, sexual minorities, their intolerance of gays, their dislike and distrust of half of the population, women, and many, many other things. And the call, what's more, and the call, what's more, for a parallel legal system within Britain and European societies. This is monstrous. No other group behaves like this, asks for parallel laws. This is a fundamental problem, and it's one we're going to have to deal with. It's a problem between a society, Western Europe, that believes that laws are based on reason, and Islam that believes that they are based on revelation. Between these two ideas, I'm not sure there is very much compromise for Europe. It is not Europe that has let down its Muslims but the Muslims of Europe that have let down Europe. <laughs>